So I have here a clean install of Ubuntu and what I'm going to show you is how to create a, um, a Debian installer for a Node.js service. So what I've got here is my example project, Hello Node, and I'll just show you super quick the basis of what this is is just a connect server that um, serves up an index.html that then requests slash count slash count then makes a directory reads a file writes a file and makes a web request so basically the purpose of this is to see that the uh, program when it's installed correctly can read and write files that it has the correct permissions and that it can get through um, the firewall if it needs to. Uh, so that's the basics of the the basis of what the program does. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this, and then sudo apt git install vim and git. I've actually already done that. Okay, and then git clone. Okay, so in here, let me get into Hello Node. I've got a directory called deb install. And as you might expect, Linux was the absolute easiest to create an installer for. Very simple. I have here my deb src folder, and under that, I have a Debian and a sysroot. Um, the important files, as far as the the package is concerned are the control file first and foremost where you have the package name oh. Oh, excuse me um, version I don't know section or priority um, architecture depends if there are other packages that it depends on maintainer description um, I think these are all the required fields and I don't know about section and priority what those mean but uh, I just left them in there because I was copying off of I just unpacked a, a script that or a, an installer um, from something else and then modified it so then there's also the pre-install script in this case I'm testing to see if there's node since node doesn't install with a deb I'm just downloading the binary, the Linux binary, straight from the Node website and untarring it and then copying it over from a temp directory into user local. Um, if the up to date version of Node were in the repository, then I would probably just list it right there under depends. And then there is the post install. Uh, and I'm doing a little bit of trickery here because I'm actually installing Chrome so that I can use the app mode of, of Chrome for my the, the client for my service and so what I'm doing here is using nohop redirecting the output to some temp log files and then the ampersand so it backgrounds it and in this install Chrome I actually have it wait 15 seconds I tried waiting five and it wasn't quite long enough it still would be running the the um, finishing up the the Debian installer so I set it to 15 seconds and that seems to be plenty um, and then this here service hello node start um, services in Ubuntu are really really simple let me let me first just make sure I've got everything here yeah pre-remove the only thing that's in the pre-remove is to stop the service. Okay. So my other folder here is sysroot and then I don't, the only thing I have in Etsy is hello node.conf and this is my service. So I put this when this goes into Etsy init it becomes a service. Um, I went ahead and set a path and then assume that node will be in that path 
I think in the future I'll actually do a local installation of Node because there's only the only two um, bin files are Node and NPM, and then there's some some man files, but it's it would kind of make sense just to include it as part of the package and not even have it as a dependency. Anyway, um, yeah, there's just some other ideas I had about how to start this. Start on, stop on, um, description, respawn, so if it dies it comes back up. Pretty simple. And then lastly, well not lastly, but next to lastly, I went ahead and created some, um, I've got an icon for when it gets installed and also this desktop entry. Super simple. Name, comment, exec, I'm telling it that it will exec Google Chrome, dash dash app. So this is what's going to allow me to run Chrome in app mode. Uh, so this is going to have my own icon. So I would, this refers to the, the image I just showed, the PNG I just showed where it was. Um, but it's actually going to be running Chrome. It's going to have my icon. Then the last thing is that I'm just copying everything from uh, the project directory, which is just above this dev install directory, into slash opt. I'm not going to do that, but in my in my script that creates the dev installer, that's what I'm doing. I'll just give you a quick rundown of the script. Again, it's super simple. Um, my source directory, I copy all the source files into here, and then the disk directory, I copy all the distribution files into there, and then I create my .deb from that. So basically, I remove the source directory, uh, copy the the source directory I was just showing you into the temp source directory, make the opt dir, remove the distribution directory, then create it. Just you know, making sure everything's clean, copying stuff over, just like I was saying. I copy over my project into opt. Uh, I copy over the Chrome install file into Optello node bin. I change the permissions of some of the files just to make it so that um, the the Debian that I'm making, although it's very hacky and not anywhere close to a standard Deb installer, uh, is just a little bit closer. I have the permissions set right and the user and group set, stuff like that. Um, so the way you make a Debian file is you have a data.tar.gz and a control.tar.gz and so everything that's not one of the control files which was under the all caps Debian folder I showed you goes into the data and then whatever root that's set to install to it just throws all those things from that root so it's just super simple. I don't know how to stress that enough. Um, and then it also needs, so in the distribution directory there's just the data.tar.gz, the control.tar.gz, and then there's also um, a Debian, a text file called Debian binary that has the number 2.0. I guess that refers to the version of Debian package or something. Uh, more stuff with changing permissions. Uh, and then AR, this old school archive tool, is used to take those three files and package them together, and that's the .deb. That's all it is. It's that simple. So I'm just going to sudo my redeb.sh, and now it has created this hello node, um, and then I will sudo dpig actually let me just let me see about opening this uh, the GUI way so XDG open just tells it to open it from the GUI 
let's see if it installs from the GUI as well as it does from the command line. Because with the command line, I just do sudo dpkg i and then the file, and um, I know that works. So let's see, only trust this file or install this file if you trust the origin. Yep, I do. Because I just made it. And again, even once this is installed, it's not entirely installed because in my post install script, I have that um, background thread and that uh, background thread is installing Chrome. Let's see, apparently this is bad quality because it doesn't have installed size. Okay, well I guess I can try to fix that and um, update the repository. Installed size. I guess what I could do for that is probably just use du on my um, and part of my script to get what the size is and then maybe you said to change it in the control file. Yeah, I would imagine it's just du of the untarred data folder. It's probably what the installed size refers to. Okay. So I think if I type in hello here, if I get lucky, yep. So um, there's my icon for my hello node browser. And I'm assuming that Chrome probably isn't done installing yet, so I'll just open this up in Firefox and just show localhost oops hmm. it worked before I promise let me pause this for just a second to see if it's a quick fix okay so as it turns out that was no big deal it was just um, that missing installed size field in the control file and then also there was a um, a path that was mistyped fixed both of those uh, reinstalled and boom it's working and then also the nice little bonus here is the Chrome app so there she be in Chrome in app mode if this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top. Give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.